Hi guys! In the previous lesson, we created the one wheel control model uh, to realize the full state feedback controller on the MATLAB Simulink application. And so we have obtained the proper coefficients related to FSB. And so in this lesson, we will try to what? To create this Simulink model. And so if you write the Simulink on the command window and push the enter button, and so Simulink is start page is open. Okay? And so we need to create a blank model or empty model in this stage. And then we will name it to what the verb one will FSB. Okay. These are the basic approach. And so if we push the right click on this uh, section and so we can select the model properties in here. And then callback function as an init function should be selected by the what where one one will control M. Okay. And so if I run this uh, simulink model and then this function is called in the initial stage. Okay. <coughs> and so I ho I have obtained to what? To I ec value, C ec value, K1, K2, and K3. Okay. <coughs> And so, let's say another parameters uh, should be given at this moment and the model configuration parameters in here. And then we should select the proper solver type in here with the fixed step variable. And so it's the more accurate variable at this time. And so we should select the fixed step size as a second time. And so one e minus 4 or 0 0.1 millisecond gives us the continuous solution of our integrator derivative terms in the MATLAB Simulink application okay and so apply and awk should be given at this moment and then what we should drive the MATLAB function in order to realize the what the proper system state space and the input matrices in here okay and so this name is wheel model control in here and so if i push the left two left clicks at this moment and so we can we can run this code as a z t general constant matrix should also be given at this time and so we can use this analogy and so the output value of these things what z dot value x ref out should be given to the output because we should compare the reference signal and our signal produced by the model okay and so torque out value should also be given at the final stage okay and then what and so if I push these codes in here and then in order to design your coding techniques in the MATLAB Simulink application you should always use this analogy which I'm giving now and so firstly you should design to your code at the end of your section or script file okay and so z dot is equal to the what a times z plus b times torque value this is should be produced by the full state feedback controller and so e times what x ref value should be given at this moment okay and then what we should create the system matrices okay which is a is equal to what zero one zero and zero minus c ek i ek and then zero okay and so minus one which is the creates the error signal in the full state feedback and it's a tricky way to obtain the following mode in the state space presentation don't forget that and so zero and zero should be given at this moment okay uh, we have obtained uh, this a matrices by using the theory or linear algebra or math and so as an engineer we should utilize the math effectively on the programming techniques okay you should remember that and so b is equal to the what is equal to the zero 
1 divided by ix and 0 okay and so we have also a reference vector in here like this one 0 0 and 1 these last terms create only the error factor on this full state feedback notation okay and then what? We should create the controller input value in here. Torque int is equal to what? Minus k times z. Which coming from the where? It's coming from directly what? To full state feedback control. We drive this equation by using the math knowledge. Okay? This is the important point because as we are an engineer, we should utilize the math in every era in engineering perspectives. Okay? And so the torque value should be equal to the what torque int. And so you can think that it, it makes senseless, uh, but we can condition the torque int value with the saturation values. Okay? So we can restrict this value with the length of what uh, 30 newton meter and minus 13 newton meter with respect to what with respect to the your motor characteristics in the real life application okay and then what we should drive the reference signal x reference position signal x ref is equal to the 10 plus 2 times sinusoidal function in here 2 times p times 0 0.2 times t and so this sinusoidal signal has the frequency of the 0 0.2 okay and so especially in this notation we can also drive the i x value in here with the notation of general constant matrices 1 1 and c x is equal to the what general constant matrix to one okay and as well as the k1 is equal to what this term I can copy of these things three and two five okay and two and three and four and five okay and so the k matrices or vectors can be given by the k1 k2 and k3 okay this is done <coughs> this is our controller perspective in here okay and so we should also give the output x ref out is equal to the x ref and so torque out should be equal to what the torque value okay this is our the general code <coughs> including to also the both the model system dynamic model representing the wheel model and plus what the full state feedback controller okay and so, in order to realize this model, we should add the integrator factor in here because the always this function creates or builds the water z dot value. And so, we should integrate to obtain the next iteration variable as we call what the z value or state matrix in here. And so the initialized value of these things as the process of the what the zero zero and zero the matrix values or the dimension of this matrix is uh, has or the process of this value three times one okay and so this is same with the what the state matrices because we can use this integrator factor on the whole the states okay and so we can check that okay and then what we should also give the clock signal in here clock produce the what the general time or passing time in this stage and the out of the current simulation time okay and so general constant matrix should also be given in here with the what the constant value of these things okay the constant should be given at this time and so the general constant constant matrix should be given in here and so this is uh, check box should be removed at this time this value is produced by using the initialization function or the one wheel 
control mode or in the previous lesson we create this matrix on the math file and so the simulink use the workspace variable on the what on itself okay and then what we should add the max value in here because we should compare the position values of this notation and so one of them is the x ref but this gives us to what the three one three times one vector and so we can split the whole this signal by using the dem max value but the max is within the range of the what the three values okay and so first of these values is equal to what the position of the this wheel model okay and then what we should also give the scopes in here okay like this one like mm, this one and then what we can run this code or we can test this code if there is a any syntax error or semantics error in here okay and so if i run this program <coughs> and then i can wait the program is started and so the program is run okay and so if our fsb controller design is correct and so the sc scope of this value is equal to the what is equal to the this one okay and so the desired signal can be tracked but with the low performance of these things okay and so how can we more uh, how can we obtain the more corrective form or the more tracking performance on this signal notation and then we can increase the what the characteristic equation ce select root values one two zero zero and zero and so the system response response is much 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 higher than the previous one okay and so if I run again this program like using these terms and so this is also should be given at this time and then but okay <coughs> and so if I increase the CE select values in here and so control is more corrective form okay this good this nice but but the torque value should be given to this system is equal to the what is equal to 1002 newton meter and so then in the universe there's no motor to provide these things okay and then what and so the motor values one two one two should be given at this position okay and so if i set this torque int value like this one torque int value is greater than 30 and so the torque int value 30 okay and and so if torque int value this the negative direction and so the torque int value minus 30 this is a restriction point okay and so this value is coming from the data sheet of your motor characteristics and so if you run this program and then we can more realistic model or realistic results at the end of this code okay and so if i run this program again and then what <coughs> i run this program and so this is nice because it's mm, not correct but you should check the torque values of these things okay the torque values like the pwm signals in here and so there's no motor characteristics in order to satisfy this condition and so okay how can we do this under this condition we can reorganize your roots on the characteristics equation like this one 50 40 30 maybe it's okay in our approach okay and so if i run again this program and then what mm, that's not okay okay and so 30 2 
and 10. This is not a surprise. In the real life application, we can use this technique in all the way, especially in the microprocessor structure, okay? You should use it like this one because cherry is limited. But if I run this code and then what? We have obtained a more reliable result on this code, okay? And so 21 is in here and if I run again this code maybe it's unstable or <laughs> maybe not and so okay this is much 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 more higher performance on this code and so if I increase these values in here the setting time is long but the stage is followed okay and then what we can select or we can change the root value by using these terms okay and so theory is correct and then what? we should set the proper roots on this system by using these terms every controller rule is okay in the math but in application especially also even if in the simulating application they may be may not be run okay and so don't surprise it and so you should try to understand how can we use the select these forms and so these terms gives us or these terms eight four to what to find the correct values of this full state feedback controls every theory is m in the math incorrect or the incomplete and so we can use the sensitivity of these things or the essential points of the sentiment of on the this control theory okay and then what we should design the controller system by using these terms and then we will get the total results in the real life application okay <coughs> this is the end of the our lesson and so i hope uh, you learn about everything on the full state feedback control it's a uh, pre introductory lesson but it's okay because the control theory is a deep theory and so there are, there are many learning points on the control theory but uh, this is a good start to use or provide the both the practical application and simulation application with the basic theories on the control application okay have a nice day see you guys